The secret to getting a 30% email open rate. On average, for every dollar you spend on email marketing, you can earn $36 according to Constant Contact. And if you are a top performer for every dollar you spend, you can earn $70. But here's the thing, if no one opens up your emails, you'll never earn $70 or even $36. So let's fix that by not only helping you get your emails open, but let's make them better than average. According to MailChimp, the average open rate for all industries is 20.33%. But I'm getting a 30 plus percent open rate literally on almost every single one of my emails. And our clients at NP Digital are also getting high open rates of 30% and in many cases above 40%. Look, as I mentioned, email marketing is an absolute gold mine, but we have to get your emails open. So let's dive into a few simple strategies. Strategy number one, make your emails more conversational. A simple way to do this is try addressing the recipient's name in the subject line. It makes your emails more personal and causes them to open up. And when doing this, use people's name instead of their company. Remember, it's a person opening up that email, not a faceless company. This also helps build a sense of familiarity so that the person feels seen as if your email was a tool for building a relationship. An interesting stat for you is that 64% of recipients make a decision on whether or not to open up an email based on the subject line. So make sure your subject line is amazing. Campaign Monitor also says that subject lines with 41 characters is the optimal length. But I found that my open rates tend to be the best when I keep my subject line to three words max. In essence, less is more. Strategy number two, subscriber segmentation is one of the most effective email marketing campaign strategies. You might have the best offer out there, but it means nothing if it's not going to the right person. Target your audience based on location, interest, purchase history, and other major factors. And once your email is open, your offer will be right there, ready for them to convert. According to Snow, segmenting your list by interest increases open rates by 39%. What I like to do with my segmentation list is mainly use locations because we are a global company and the services we offer are different per country. In addition to that, the biggest thing that has affected my segmentation is buyers versus non-buyers. I recommend having two lists. You'll find that your buyers are more active than non-buyers and you'll wanna send them different emails as there are already customers. Strategy number three, avoid spam folders. Getting sent to the spam folder is a death sentence for your email list. Send your campaigns from a good reputable IP address. The way you do this is twofold. You can either warm up your IP address by slowly sending emails and increasing the volume per day. So you may start off with like 100 emails a day, one day, and then 500 in day two, and then 1,000 day three, and then 2,000 day four, 3,000 day five, 5,000 day six, and maybe even 10,000 in day seven. You get how I'm slowly warming it up. Most people don't have that big of a list, so you're probably gonna warm yours up even slower. In essence, you wanna ease into sending a lot of emails. You wouldn't just send 10,000 emails on day one because you have to build trust with the email clients such as Gmail and Outlook. Another strategy that I love doing, and most people don't do this, I don't know why, because everyone's like, oh, I want a dedicated IP with my email address. Well, I like piggybacking on someone else's IP. A lot of email providers like ConvertKit have shared IPs, which is great because you don't want to warm up your IP address. It's better for you to leverage other people's amazing reputation and trust with those email platforms. Also, make sure all your users have opted in for your emails and avoid excessively salesy language. Include transparent methods for them to also opt out of your email so then that way you're not continually sending people emails who don't want them. And what I like doing is to not send people emails if they continually don't open up your emails. In essence, if I send someone four emails over a period of let's say a month and none of them get open, I put them in a re-engagement campaign and then send them a super enticing email that they may open, such as um, an email marketing email with amazing ebook that usually costs money, but I'm giving it away for free in hopes that they open that email. If they open the email, then I move them back 
to my regular list. If not, I delete that email address because if you keep sending people emails when they aren't opening it, it causes the email platforms to just put all your emails or the majority of them in the spam box. Strategy number four, give value. This sounds simple, but if your emails offer value, people will open them. If they don't, they won't open them. So when sending emails, keep that in mind. Sure, you may need to sell them on something every once in a while, but offer a ton of value. That way, people look forward to your emails and will want to open them. I know this one sounds obvious, but you'll be shocked on how many people forget to do it. It's basic. Strategy number five, time your emails. I don't know why people love sending emails in the middle of the night. Every morning when I wake up, I have hundreds of unread emails in my inbox. When I wake up, I see all these unread emails. And what do most people do? They ignore them. Why? Because no one's going to want to read 50, 60, 70, 100 emails. They just look for the important ones. Now, if people were using segmenting, they would know not to send new emails at night because you can segment by time zone. So what a lot of marketers don't realize is if people have tons of emails over the weekend or at night, they usually ignore many of those emails or just mark them as red due to laziness. Don't be at the bottom of someone's email inbox. Be at the top. Send your emails when they are more likely to read them, such as a weekday or in the early mornings, so you are at the top of their inbox when they start going through the emails. Strategy six, write like a friend. I have a question for you. When you get an email from a friend, do you open it? Well, of course you do. If you don't, you probably missed it by accident or they're not really your friend. Now, what about an email pitching you on something? Chances are, you're gonna ignore it. If your emails are written as if they're casual, as if you were writing an email to a friend, it'll get open more. The easiest way to do this is make your subject line lowercase. In other words, don't capitalize the first letter in each word and make your subject line super proper. Instead, make it casual. A lot of times I just like using all lowercase letters in my subject line. I find this to increase my open rates by roughly 3.43% when I use this strategy. Doesn't seem like a lot, but every little bit adds up. Strategy seven, A-B testing. Did you know that according to Smart Insights, 60% of companies use A-B testing to maximize conversions? If you don't know what works, try multiple methods and you can see what sticks and what's doing an amazing job in getting your emails open. I love sending out emails with the A-B subject line. In other words, half the group gets one subject line, the other group gets another subject line. And typically with most email platforms, they may test out the subject line to a few hundred or a few thousand of your subscriber base and whatever one converts better, they then take that subject line and send it out to the rest so you get the most opens. And this gives you insights on what you should do in the future. It's like getting customer feedback without even making people fill out a survey. Now follow those tips and you'll be off and getting 30 plus percent open rates like I do in my agency. Now, if you need help with your email marketing, check out NP Digital, where we're the agency of the year and we help companies grow through email marketing as well as all other forms of digital marketing. If you just have any questions, leave a comment below. I'm here to help and answer them as well.